A project at the intersection of Highway 2 and Highway 89 near Bemidji is almost complete. It's expected to make the area a safer place to drive in the long term. But while construction is still underway, drivers are asked to use caution. Jackson Bruner has more about the changes motorists should expect. Tragedy would strike quickly. A southbound Highway 89 traffic near Bemidji would try to merge onto Highway 2, occasionally causing a collision. The severity of the crashes made it the third highest crash rate intersection within the state of Minnesota. The area averaged about six crashes a year, and to solve the issue, MnDOT tried smaller cost-effective fixes, including better signage and lighting in the area. None of those ideas did the job, so a bigger project began, a $4.8 million overpass. The intent of the overpass is to separate that movement, to allow the 89 traffic to cross over the top of Highway 2 traffic so we do not have that conflict point. Barrels now line the construction zone. There is significant change from a wall that previously separated traffic, and the new setup creates some safety concerns. People have been so used to driving between two concrete barrier walls for three months, and all of a sudden it's gone, and they can see all over the place. They can see what we're doing behind these barrier walls for the first time in three months. We just hope people slow down and not look around at what we're doing and concentrate on driving. The end result of efforts taken on by MnDOT and KGM contractors will involve a number of changes, including better turn lanes, more lighting work, and roads that will loop to and from the overpass, helping traffic get around. Well, the next few days we're going to try to finish up the paving. Following that will be the striping, shouldering, uh, some of this temporary seating or permanent seating, and um, all the small odds and ends of clean up. And, then we want to open it up. The overpass is expected to be ready for public use sometime next week, opening up eastbound Highway 2 lanes for motorists. In Bemidji, Jackson Bruner, Lakeland News. MnDOT says drivers should always slow down when moving through work zones and never enter a road blocked with cones or barriers. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.